Hi, I'm Alicia from Data School Cohort 21. I'm going to show you how to make a lollipop chart. This chart type should be used when ranking and where an item's position in an ordered list is more important than its absolute or relative value. Lollipops draw more attention to the data value than standard bars or columns and can show the rank and value effectively. Lollipops can also offer a less cluttered view and whilst remaining very simple, it offers something a little bit different on a dashboard. Since they aren't too difficult, let's jump into Tableau and get started. The first step is to look at the data. In this case, I'm using a data set from a Makeover Monday challenge and in particular, week 43, which looked at the impact of COVID-19 on apparel exports to the US. For our analysis, we may want to look at the exports within these countries and then further break this down over the months given within the data. So let's get started and create a new sheet. The first thing we want to do is take country from the data pane and drag this to our columns. To make the view easier, we can make this entire view. And the measure that we're looking to see this by is the exports. We can drag this to rows and see that quite simply a very basic bar chart has been created. We can sort the view to make this easier. To turn this into a lollipop chart, we simply need to duplicate what we have on our rows. And in this case, our measure, which is exports. To duplicate this, you can hold down on your control key and drag the exports to the right side of the existing one and drop it. And we can see here that two bar charts have been created now. If that didn't work, you can also simply take it from the data pane again and put it alongside exports. To turn this into a lollipop chart, you need to hover over the exports that we've just dropped onto the rows. On the arrow pointing downwards, you want to select dual axes. Selecting this will change your mark type, as we can see in the marks card, that all and some have now changed to circles. We need to change this back to bars. So if you go to all, select bar. You'll notice that this has turned everything into bars, both the exports we dropped on first and the exports we dropped on after. In the case of a lollipop chart, one of the marks is always different. So we will change one of the marks to a circle. And we can already see that it's popping out at the top. All we need to do now is make sure we resize everything. So if we go to size on the marks card for the bars, we can drag it and make it a lot smaller. I quite like my lollipop charts having quite a thin bar and a bigger circle, as is the case here. You can also go to the circle within the marks card and adjust the size if you prefer it to be much bigger or smaller. I think this is about the right size for me. If you do want, you can also colour the lollipop. In this case, I've gone to the circle, selected colour and picked a colour to mark the lollipop against. I can do the same for bar by selecting colour. I'll just change this to black for now. You will, however, notice that the bar is in front of the circle. To simply shift the order, you can right click on an axis and you can select move marks to back. 
I may want to increase the size of the circles just a little bit more to give it that real lollipop effect. Now finally, I wanted to look at this across months. So to split this within the view, I take months from the data pane and drag it alongside columns. And now we can see every country and the months within those countries for which we have the data. And there you have it, a very simple lollipop chart. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to make a lollipop chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd also love how to build a diverging stacked bar chart by my colleague Jana. Click the link on the screen to watch it next. Thank you very much.